Let's adjust this. Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. Today we are gonna be learning how to do things by ourselves and learn to really enjoy our own company. I'm gonna be doing like a very short, like get ready with me segment really quick, just because I kinda of wanna put something on my face. If you watched my vlog from the first week of 2024, then you already know that learning to spend time by myself and just be comfortable alone is one of my goals for this year. This is something that I really wanna get better at and be a little more comfortable doing. So we're holding ourselves to that today. I have quite frankly been neglecting this goal and to be quite honest, it's probably because it scares me. If I'm being quite honest, I have just fallen out of practice with doing things by myself, but like, 2018 me literally went to New York City by myself right after I graduated college and I spent an entire week up there by myself taking the subway, going to different places, taking myself out to eat, doing everything by myself. And recently now it feels like the idea of doing things alone just makes me really anxious or uncomfortable. And it could be because I am in a relationship now. So whenever I don't want to do something by myself, like I can always just drag my boyfriend along with me. But single or not, this is just not the way to live besties. We have got to get comfortable with being alone and spending time with ourselves because at the end of the day, we are all we have. We are gonna go on a little solo date today. We are going to be taking ourselves out into the city. If I'm being quite honest, I don't really exactly even know where yet. <laughs> Just because I am in my money saving era, so it's not like I'm gonna be taking myself out to like a really nice dinner or anything for myself. I'm really just wanting to practice being alone and doing things alone. And I honestly don't even think that you need to take yourself out on some big extravagant date just to do things alone and call it doing something by yourself. I think you can spend the entire day by yourself just kind of like doing whatever and it still counts, especially if you're out in public and you're doing things by yourself. I'm just throwing on a little blush, a little something to make myself look a little more alive and presentable because if this is going to be a solo date with myself and I'm treating it as such, then I want to put in at least some or almost the equivalent amount of effort in as I would if, you know, I was going on a date with my boyfriend, you know? Also, this is a really nice day to be doing this. It is like 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It is cold out and that is a good day for me because I don't like to sweat. Obviously, I don't mind sweating like in the gym. That's fine. That just means I'm getting a really good workout in. I'm talking about when it's like summer and I'm going out and doing things and being social and I'm sweating through my clothes and I'm sweating off my makeup. Like, I just don't love it. Summer is quite literally not it for me, I don't enjoy it, but it is 40 degrees out today. Let me put my mirror back down here. All right, so this is the fit for our little date with ourselves. This cute little crop top that's kind of got like ruffled edges and edges, no, what is that called? The hemline. It's like hemmed in a really like ruffled kind of cute way. And then I just have yoga pants on, which is a really bold choice for me because I don't typically like wearing outfits like this without like a cardigan or something because I have body dysmorphia and I usually get kind of uncomfortable when people can see me like this, but we have to get over that. We have to get over our fear of being seen and perceived by other people. Like we shouldn't stop ourselves from wearing whatever we want and going out and doing whatever we want just because we're afraid of other people looking at us. Like it should not matter. Like I'm literally 28. Like how am I gonna be 30 in a couple of years and like still be afraid of wearing whatever I want in public and like being seen in public? <laughs> No. My shoes, I just have my Nike Metcons on because I'm probably gonna be walking a good bit. So I'm just gonna wear something comfortable. I am gonna wear my jean jacket just because again, it is 40 degrees out. So I kind of need something on. This is our little fit. I don't think I'm gonna wear any jewelry just because I'm literally going outside and just walking around. But I am gonna wear a fragrance. This is the new Coach Love fragrance that they came out with this year. This stuff literally smells so good, you guys. Oh my God. It has wild strawberry and rose and I believe sandalwood is like the third one, but oh my God, this stuff smells so good. I think I just swallowed some of it, but it's fine. This is quite literally the first fragrance of any kind that has incorporated strawberry in a way that smells real. Because you know when you get like a fragrance or a body spray that says it has strawberry in it, but like when you smell it, it's really like sugary and artificial smelling. Not this one, you guys. This one actually smells like legitimate strawberries. And I know so because I actually went into the store one day and I like just took a big whiff of strawberries like a weirdo because I wanted to know if it smelled like this. 
it does. I'm also bringing this giant fringy purse that I got from Killstar forever ago because if I need to put my camera away, like at least I have a bag big enough to hold it because I don't really have like a camera specific bag yet for when I bring my camera in public. So this will hold everything. This is our solo date fit. Got my shoes. All right, let's do this. Let's, let's go spend some time alone in public. so much hair all over my face because it's so windy out excuse me even with my sunglasses on it's kind of hard to see myself in the viewfinder so i literally don't know how well you can see me but i was reading outside of my favorite coffee shop um a few other people came and sat at the tables outside and it was just getting kind of loud so i decided to leave i also knew i wanted to come down here to this cemetery anyways because it would be a really good reading spot if you're a history buff you might enjoy this this churchyard is actually where patrick henry gave his famous give me liberty or give me death speech back in the 1700s if you find that cool you know that's cool. I am sitting on this little bench and I'm going to read my book some more. I brought my Jeanette McCurdy book because I am still trying to finish that book, you guys, all right? You know what, we're on a roll. We are knocking out two things today. I'm reading, which was a 2024 goal, and I'm also out here doing stuff by myself, which was a 2024 goal. So I'm just gonna read and just enjoy being out here. Nobody is actually here with me right now. I'm not even sure there's anybody in the church right now. I'm not sure if it's even open. Yes, I do enjoy chilling in cemeteries. If you haven't tried it, you should. Really peaceful. There's tons of people here, but they can't talk to me because they're underground. All right, we are home again momentarily. I sat in the cemetery for like 20 or 30 minutes reading my book and it was really, really peaceful and I didn't want to leave, but I had to pee so bad and there's not a public restroom in that cemetery and I didn't know if the church was open. Also because it's kind of really windy out today, you guys. I did not plan on that when I picked out my original outfit. So I also wanted to come home really quick and grab this sweatshirt business that I got from Target for like $10. But I just threw this on top of the shirt I was already wearing. Now we are gonna go back out. I kind of want to walk the opposite direction I think there's a little cafe up there and I don't remember the name of it, but I really want to go there. So it's called Urban F I literally look like a horror movie character. Let me turn my brightness down. Wow. Okay, so it is called Urban Farmhouse Market and Cafe. I have walked by it a few times with my sister and it looks really cute. I really just want to go there and be there in public alone because that's the point of this. If they have a little bakery case, I might just buy like a croissant or something small just so that like they don't kick me out for loitering. So I'm gonna like slurp some more of this because I don't wanna bring it with me and we got another long walk ahead of us. I'm realizing now it's like kind of cold and I don't think I have a lip balm in my purse. So that's really cool. This is actually the route that my sister and I used to walk when we'd walk her dog when she still lived down here next to me because she doesn't anymore. She lives in a house with her boyfriend. But this is like the same path that we took. It's kind of off the main road so it's gonna be a little quieter because I am trying to talk to my camera while I'm vlogging in public. I right know I'm gonna walk under an overpass so hopefully it's not too loud. I thought also this would be a good time to kind of talk about why this is a goal of mine to get comfortable doing things by myself and I don't feel like it's something that I was ever really inherently afraid of. It's just something I've fallen out of practice with. Having that kind of confidence to just like go out in public and do your thing and not really care if anybody's looking at you or what anyone thinks is something I've always admired in other people and other YouTubers. I'm running out of breath. I need to stop walking so fast when I'm talking. That kind of confidence is something I've always admired in other people and it's something that I would like to have for myself. And unfortunately, the only way you can grow in this life is by making yourself uncomfortable and putting yourself in situations that make you uncomfortable. That is what today is about. That's what this video is about. So if you're also somebody who really struggles with doing things in public by yourself, I hope this video helps you. Maybe if you want to like 
like play this in your headphones when you're going somewhere by yourself. I can just be like that little friend in your ear encouraging you. I'm definitely a little self-conscious and I'm definitely about to turn my camera off because there's a group of men coming my way, so. <sighs> To sum up my point, people who are confident enough to go out in public by themselves and are not afraid of what people think is a trait I would very much like to embody. So this video is my journey in teaching myself that. <laughs> First time to start filming. Hold on, there's literally no light. Oh, okay, here we go. So it is just after 1.30, I think. I left the coffee shop. I'm taking a long way home down the canal, which is right behind me, as you can see. This is the canal that cuts through the city and it has a really nice walkway. It's very scenic. So I did end up getting a second coffee. I did not plan on it. I kind of just wanted a croissant, but I had never been to that coffee shop before and I really wanted to try their coffee. I hope it is not too loud out here. Anyways, another reason that I'm really trying to get used to doing things by myself this year is mainly for the fact that when you are comfortable going places by yourself and doing things by yourself, it gives you so much more freedom. I should sit down. Okay, I tried to pick a little bit more of a scenic background for you guys. So we are sitting by the canal. I am finishing up my coffee. As I've said before, getting comfortable doing things by myself is already a huge goal for me this year. And as I've said before in this video, and I think also my video about YouTube changing my life, the only way you really get better at doing things that make you uncomfortable is by just doing them. What today was really was just practice. While it was still on a small scale and I didn't do anything too elaborate, I still count it as practice. It's still something that I didn't have to do today. I could have chosen to stay home and be comfortable. I see someone on a trail now that is going to be passing me and I'm going to try my hardest not to put my camera down because I shouldn't feel ashamed of being seen and people seeing me film because as I've said before in another video, who knows, maybe I'm just filming myself for the memories, you know? Maybe I'm just trying to make memories of my life so that I don't forget them when I'm older, you know? I just wanna be that person that is a doer. I don't want to be the person that's a sayer. I don't want to go about my life constantly talking about the things that I want to do. I want to maybe say that I want to do them, but actually just go out and do them. You know, and just not be someone who is going to psych myself out of doing things that are going to be good for me in the long run. All right, how is this angle, you guys? I'm literally straddling this seat. I'm trying to utilize the fact that I have a tripod by actually using it and not making myself hold my camera all the time. Cheers to us doing things that are outside of our comfort zone and growing this year. Another reason I wanna get better at doing things alone is solely for the fact that I don't want to have to depend on someone to do things. I don't want to have to go down my friends list when I want to do something or go somewhere and rely on the presence of another person to do things. Like, I want to just be able to go and do them because I want to. And I think at the end of the day, that's another benefit of doing things by yourself. If you're always having to have someone with you and you're always having to include somebody else in those plans, that's another person that you kind of have to accommodate for. Not necessarily in a bad way because that's just how it is when you make a group outing or you're going somewhere with someone else. When you're comfortable going out by yourself and doing things by yourself. You can do whatever you want on your schedule, on your time. You can go wherever you want, do whatever you want. There's a plane above me. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to take into account like, oh, well, so-and-so might not want to eat at this restaurant or, you know, this person might not be as interested in going to this venue. You don't even have to worry about that because the only person you have to worry about making happy on that outing is you. I think another thing about learning to be comfortable doing things on your own is it in turn, at least I hope this is the outcome for me, but in turn, I think it can also help you unlearn a lot of really toxic mindsets that we have acquired growing up in this society. Something that I used to always say, especially at work when I was working overnights and I didn't want to interact with customers the next morning because I would come into work at midnight and usually leave around 7 a.m. There was a brief moment where I would encounter customers on my way out of the store if I stayed long enough till we opened. And something I would always say is, I don't want to be perceived. I don't want to be seen. And while there is a really funny joke because like as an overnight worker, you don't have to interact 
interact with customers and deal with like the customer service side of things when you work overnights. That is a saying that like I kind of like carried with me beyond my job at Target. Like, like it kind of just became part of my regular vernacular to just be like, I don't want people to see me. I don't want to be perceived. And I think in the moment I didn't mean it this way, but I think as time passed, it turned into more of a toxic mindset, which in turn feeds into your fear of going out alone and doing things alone because you don't want to be seen or perceived by other people. Making those jokes like, oh, I don't want customers to see me is kind of counterproductive and feeds into that negative mindset and just further makes us afraid of getting out of our comfort zone and doing things that might make us happy because we don't want to be perceived. I did say it before in my video about how YouTube changed my life. We often have this fear that everyone is looking at us and judging us. I do think it comes in part of the society that we live in now that is very me-based. It's very us-based, very individualistic. So naturally, our biggest fears are that everyone's always watching us and everyone's judging what we're doing. But in reality, I don't think anybody has given me a second glance today for filming myself. Granted, I don't think that many people have seen me because I am off the walking path and I'm kind of just sitting down here secluded by the canal. So to talk to you guys like people are walking by and are in earshot of me like if you listened close enough you could probably hear what i'm saying right now but has anybody no everybody is out doing their own thing minding their business nobody cares if i'm filming i'm also in a kind of scenic part of town so it's really not outlandish for me to have a camera out <laughs> but at the end of the day anyone judging you for being by yourself in public and just doing your own thing is someone who's obviously very insecure themselves and they're just projecting that fear onto you because at the end of the day who's the one looking that fear in the face and saying i don't care i'm gonna go out in public and film myself anyways or you know i'm gonna go take myself to dinner because i want to go to this restaurant you're the one putting yourself out there not being afraid of being seen by other people and living your life and that's something that i think a lot of people can't handle so if anybody does judge you for being out by yourself in public they probably have issues with themselves because they can't be alone with themselves and their own thoughts so you're kind of one step ahead of the game so you don't really need to be worried about who's judging you and who's paying attention to you while you're alone in public i hope that made sense i'm kind of rambling because it's very loud out here at the end of the day the relationship we have with ourselves whether we like it or not is the one true lifelong thing that we have. Even if you are not single right now and you are in a relationship, your relationship with yourself should still hold priority and not fall to the wayside. And again, whether you're in a relationship or not, like I am, you should still be nurturing that relationship with yourself and spending time with yourself and just being your own best friend and like taking yourself out for a coffee date or going to the library or a museum, anything. At some point during your day or week, you will be alone. And if you don't like the person you are when you're alone and you always need another person's presence to make you feel better like like what kind of life is that like actually what kind of life is that because there's just going to be times in your life where you are alone and you have to be okay with your own company because like we can't always have people around us all the time in my opinion spending time by yourself and with yourself is not like a sad loner thing to do it's actually a sign of incredible confidence in my opinion because as i've said before the people i follow on the internet and the people that i know who don't have a problem going out and doing things by themselves are like some of the most courageous people I've ever met and I want to be like them so bad. <laughs> Being alone and learning to love spending time with yourself is just a huge sign that you prioritize yourself, you prioritize your self-love and your self-growth journey and that speaks volumes in my opinion. I don't even think I need to follow that up with anything. Like that speaks volumes to me. So I think I'm going to finish my coffee and make my way home. Thank you so much for joining me on this little solo outing. If you are someone who is also trying to get more confident at doing things by yourself and not be as afraid to be in public by yourself, comment down below and let's encourage each other in the comments. I had a really nice day, if I'm being quite honest. This was actually really fun. It was still really nice to just take myself out and just do things that I felt like doing. And I'm really excited for future videos like this because this is something I have to keep practicing and get better at. Especially as someone who's trying to grow on YouTube, this is kind of something I have to get better at. So there will be more videos like this in the future. And I'm excited to see where it goes from here because yeah, it was a very simple outing that I had today, but you know, maybe next time I'll go somewhere even more exciting. I'm excited for the rest of this year and all of the solo outings I'm gonna plan for myself and all of the places I'm going to take myself because I'm not gonna be worried about having someone there with me to feel better about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below what your favorite solo date idea is and let's encourage each other and give each other more ideas of ways we can get out of our comfort zone and just embrace being in public alone. Especially because I'm gonna be filming more videos like this in the future and I'm gonna take all your suggestions into account. I hope you're having a great rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you are new because I'm going to be filming all of my little solo adventures this year and I will catch you guys on the next video.